Let me start my recording. Good morning, grade 10. We are in the middle of um, giving in, giving examples or applications, right? Let's move now to Amonton's Law. Okay? Amonton's Law is talking about pressure and temperature. There hey, is... Excuse me, Chair. I have a question. Yes, yes. Is Amonton's Law the same with Gay Lusak's Law? Gay Lusak. Having... They're huh? actually the same. We're talking ah, okay. about the same boat. Okay, okay. So, Thank you. Is the same with Amonton's because they're talking about pressure and temperature. There is a... a, a relationship between pressure and temperature that is based on Amonton's law or Gay-Lussac's law, right? So, the relationship is the volume is directly proportional to absolute temperature. Okay, he discovered, he discovered this while building an air thermometer. So, if this is so, the formula in Amonton's law or Gay-Lussac's law is pressure over temperature or this is p1 over t1 is equal to p2 or pressure 2 or final pressure over final temperature so let's have this example Okay, this is the example. A gas or gas exerts one atomic pressure at 27 degrees Celsius. What is the pressure if the temperature is increased to 50 degrees Celsius? Okay, so again, the steps in answering scientific problems, we need also to get first the given. <laughs> So the given there is the pressure one or the initial pressure is equal to what is the initial pressure there? 1.0 atm. 1.0 atm. The initial temperature. 27 degrees Celsius. 27 degrees Celsius, correct. The final pressure, this is actually being asked in the problem when you need to solve for the P2 or the final pressure. Time or temperature rather is the final temperature is 50 degrees centigrade. Oh, 
Okay. First and foremost, we need first to convert Celsius into Kelvin. How can we convert again Celsius into Kelvin? By? Add 273. 273. 273. 273. Okay, 273. And this is to convert centigrade or Celsius into Kelvin. 27 plus 273. 300. 300. 300. Kelvin or degrees Kelvin. How about 50 plus 273? 323. 323. 323. Kelvin. Okay. Solution. According to Amantan's law, that um, pressure is directly proportional to temperature. So if it is directly proportional, we need, we need to make a proportion out of it. So pressure, P1, is directly proportional to P. P1. We're talking about different um, pressure and temperature, right? But if it is um, the same, so there's nothing to calculate. But we're talking about differences in temperature and differences in pressure. It's equal to Substitute P1 is what is the value of P1 or pressure 1? 1. 1.0 1. ATM. Over 300 Kelvin. Okay. Three hundred Kelvin. The line is equal to how about your P2? P2 is being asked. This is unknown. If this is in mathematics, this is the X. Value of x and the t2 is 323 k kelvin. 123 kelvin. Okay. What should be done next? This is the interesting part. What should be done next? Hey. I think, is that the same uh, uh, process with the previous one? Definitely, because they are directly proportional. Okay. Meaning they're actually equal. We're going to multiply the 323 Kelvin to 1.08 ATM. And to and 300K to P2 to retain the value. Since and But P2 is unknown one, so we can retain the value. Correct. So, this will be the solution. Iba, we need to move. Let me make 
a notation for this. Uh, let me annotate. Diba? They are directly proportional. Okay? So, we need to cross multiply. Correct? But since this is a known, okay, we, we cannot cross multiply unknown terms in scientific. So, we can retain. So, what happens next is we have this one. One ATM, 1.0 ATM. ATM is atmospheric pressure. Times, because we cross multiply. 323. Kelvin. Over, because you retain the 300K, so we have 300K underlined over 300K. Okay. E2 is equal to 323. Over 300 K, 300 K and over 300 K. Diba we, we divide I by divide. this one. Uh, I'm it again. If we have division here, definitely we can cancel actually the K. Hey. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right, correct? Sorry. Because we're talking about atmospheric pressure. Okay. So, 1 times 323, that is 323 ATM, atmospheric pressure, ATM over 300, over 300, right? Three hundred. So three hundred twenty-three divided by three hundred, we have P two is equal to one point to the nearest hundred. There's hundreds. Uh, one point zero eight. Okay, that's one point. Zero eight. 0 8 ATM. So that is uh, the answer. Okay. Or sometimes if um, we can also have 1.1. 1. 1. Okay. 1. 1.08 is correct also. We can also have 1.1 1. 1 if we're going to round, off, round this off to the nearest tenths. Okay. So this is the answer. Same with the other problem. Okay, if you're going to look at this, the same principle is actually added into it or being used in the situation. If this is directly proportional, proportionality. Okay, so if um, temperature one is being asked, the same procedure will be done. Temp if pressure one is being asked, the same procedure is, be is being done. So I am giving you now that, that the idea on how to solve that particular problem rather than um, giving you directly the answer. Okay? So, step by step, if it is directly proportional, you can cross multiply and you retain what is being asked. As simple as that. All of the problems with regards to gay is the same. Okay? Do you have any questions so far with gay or Amontons? No. Uh, by the way, I'm I'm so they're the same, huh? Okay. They're the same. Don't be confused. Other books, they're actually look, um, coined this as gay Lusaks. Other and, and the other books also are talking about Amantons. Okay. Can we move forward? 
Sure thing. All right. Let's move forward to the next. Can you see my shared screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's move now to combined gas law. Okay. Recall the following that Boyle's law is P, pressure over pressure times volume, is equal to the constant. Charles law is volume over temperature. And Amonton's is pressure over temperature. How about if we're going to combine this? Since if you're going to look at this, these are just what? They have, they have common um, denominators if you're going to look at this. They have similarities. So we actually think about combining the gas law. When combined the three gas laws, this can be expressed into pressure times volume is equal to temperature. Or if substances under different conditions or different sets or different values, we have P1, P1 times V1 over T1 is equal to P2 times V2 over T2. Why is that so true? Because they are actually what? Directly proportional. The relationship there, there is directly proportional. So the same procedure will actually done in the problem. Okay, so let's have this example. Okay, I think we're running out of time. We only have nine minutes left and I think it is not um, enough for me to discuss the problem with um, combined gas laws. So let's have the combined gas laws by ne next meeting. Is that okay? It's okay, teacher. That's yeah, true. Sure. Okay. Okay. Let's take this little by little because we'll be using this one in your grade 11 and grade 12, even college. We'll be talking about a lot of Okay, teacher. Now in the grade 11 and in college. So hopefully, if South Academy will offer um, grade 11, I'll be also your teacher for physics and for um, earth science. So we'll be talking about this one and even chem, All right? Do you have any questions so far? None, None so, so far. far. I, I have one yes. uh, regarding no. the for the people who introduced the Amonton's law and Gay Lusak's law, are they two different person? Actually, yes. But they continue the, the works of Amonton. Okay. Just like Einstein is talking about um, the, the theory of relativity and the Filipina scientists continued the work of Einstein. It's the same. Even Einstein continue also the work of Newton, the loss of motion by Newton. So, any other question? 
None. All right. So if you have question, again, please raise it in our GC or send a private message uh, to me and I will address your concerns, all right? Again, do not be confused with those formulas. They are just formula. And all you have to do is to understand what is the concept behind those formula. These are scientific concepts. And scientific concepts has a lot of explanations. And you can do also your own. Um, you can do also your, your own formula out of the base formula. As simple as that. So I am open with a lot of possibilities. Just let me know. All right? Sure, thank you, Tracy. Thank you all for today, class. Thank you for your participation, grade 10. Hope you learned something out of our simple discussion. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you.